Election 2024 in San Francisco is heating up with contested races on the ballot from mayor to supervisors. And in case you're wondering what's in a name, it turns out a whole lot if you're running in a city that's more than one third Asian and about one fifth of Chinese descent. Our media partner, the San Francisco Standard, has a new article out looking at how cultural appropriation concerns have forced the city to tighten up its rules on political candidates' Chinese names. Joining us live now to talk about his exclusive story is the Standard's reporter, Han Lee. Hi, Han. Hi, Kristen. So let's start with how this tradition came about, right? There's this practice in San Francisco where most major candidates for office, whatever their race or ethnicity, tends to adopt a Chinese name for campaigning in the ballot. Why is that? So I think it happens for decades already. So in San Francisco, if you ever vote in San Francisco, you will see the ballot is bilingual. So it's both in Chinese and in English. So every candidate, they will have a Chinese name. So sometimes if you, if you want to appeal to the Chinese voters, right, you can work on your Chinese name. So a lot of non-Chinese candidates, they will have a very authentic, very um, um, cool Chinese name, right, to kind of appeal to the Chinese voter. So when the voter see that on the ballot, oh, they might think, oh, that's a cool name or that, that person might be a Chinese, so they will vote for them. Okay, so if they're not Chinese, how have they in the past uh, come up with their names, right? Can you give us some examples? Yeah, so normally if you're not Chinese, your name will be a transliteration-based long five character words name, right? But traditionally, a typical authentic Chinese name will be a shorter one, three character or two character, like your name, three character, and my name is two characters, right? So the longer name might not be that popular to appeal to Chinese voter. So a lot of those non-Chinese candidates, they will go to their Chinese friends, they will go to Chinatown power brokers, political consultants, right? So they will get um, a Chinese name. So for example, like San Francisco Mayor London Breed, her Chinese name is Bo Lei, which is kind of like a Chinese, uh, transliteration of her English name, right? But also there are way more authentic Chinese names, like Dean Preston and his Chinese supervisor Dean Preston, and his Chinese name is Hun Zengyi, which is like totally unrelated to his English name's pronunciation. Okay, so yeah, traditionally you want the three characters, right? And, you know, auspicious words or something that con connotes good value, things like that, right? Strength. And, um, but now, apparently, the city is having to crack down to comply with the state law. So tell us what that means. Yeah, so in 2019, uh I think South Bay uh, Assemblyman Evan Lowe, who's also Chinese American, he authored a law to regulate the Chinese name on the ballot statewide. So every local city and also state race, they will follow the rule. So what he uh, put in the law is to um, regulate the Chinese name. So either you have to be born with the Chinese name or you have to prove that you've been using it for two years. So. If you're not uh, qualified for this two situation, you will be assigned, you will be given for a transliteration based name. So that's what happened now in San Francisco. So if you're not born with your Chinese name, if you're not, uh, if you cannot prove that you've been using it for two years, then sorry, you cannot put your self submitted self uh, name, name, like if you get a name for yourself, then you cannot put it on the ballot. Yeah, like Daniel Lurie, for example, the sign we're looking at now, he had a nice sounding, I thought, three, three character Chinese name, um, but now he may not be able to use this, right? Yeah, so Daniel Lurie has a Chinese name, uh, Luo Reido, which is kind of, you know, phonetically sound close to his English name, but also it's a really authentic, typical Chinese name, right, with some really nice meaning. And, but, you know, he named himself this name probably a couple months ago and he's running for next year. So he might not be able to prove that he has been using for this name for two years. So maybe on the ballot, he will not be able to use that.